Welcome to CFS, the child-friendly school framework in action. One may ask, what is CFS? The Child-Friendly School, or CFS, is a comprehensive quality model aimed at enhancing the quality of educational systems in the best interest of the child. Child-friendly schools are concerned with health, safety, security, nutritional status, and the psychological well-being of the child as they are with the teacher. In the Eastern Caribbean, the CFS program focuses on positive behavioral management, strengthening health and family life education, student-centered classrooms, student participation in school governance and in other areas of the school, parental and community involvement in school decision-making, policies for the protection of children, and development of sports. In Antigua and Barbuda, CFS was first piloted at the T.N. Kernan School in 2008 as a collaboration between the Ministry of Education and the Antigua and Barbuda Union of Teachers, ABUT. To date, a total of 29 public primary schools are part of the program. Our goal, our primary goal, is to ensure that all children in Antigua and Barbuda learn. All children succeed. The schools that are part of the CFS program have sought to introduce varying elements of CFS. Most of them have been developing creative strategies for positive behavior management in the classroom. These include the behavior color wheel, the basketball chart, the behavior tree, buzz meters, among others. These interventions have been leading to improvements in students' behaviors and in a reduction in the use of corporal punishment by teachers. Children are respecting each other in the way they walk in on the corridor as well as how they conduct themselves when they're playing outside during recess time. It tells when we're behaving good and bad and it tells other people to behave good so they can get awarded. In addition, Miss Theoline Croft of Piggott's Primary has designed behavioral charts for their teachers. Just as how children are asked to have a particular behavior, teachers too, because you are the modeling agents. Health and Family Life Education, HFLE, is also a critical aspect of the CFS program and in Antigua and Barbuda, efforts are being made to strengthen it in schools. If we're looking at a child-centered school and we're looking at the whole child and the development of the whole child, we have to put in context. It's not just about the academics. We have to look at the social context and the environmental conditions that affect learning. So we focus mainly on skills, for example, tolerance. If a child says something to do, you what you're going to do. Another key aspect of CFS in the Eastern Caribbean is student participation. And in Antigua and Barbuda, Schools have begun to introduce this primarily through student councils. Having a student council is important in a school because the children claim ownership of the school and I find when children own something they take much better care of it. When they are involved they know the ups and the downs and so they won't be as troublesome and they will take their education because they know the consequences. We planned it sports day and right now we're, we're supposed to be having a fun day for the teachers. Like it was a fundraising, we would like send it to the bank and we would like have a little party and we use the same money to organize some things. We would raise the same money again. So, and we could buy new books and so for the library. When I joined, it helped me to be brave and to be responsible. Child-Friendly Schools program encourages developing lesson plans and using resources that cater to students' needs and interests. Antigua Child-Friendly Schools are also making changes in this area. Once the classroom is geared for them to actually be, um, to, for them to actually work and they're engaged, if they're not engaged, if we're not meeting their needs, then they're going to be disruptive. Since the implementation of CFS programs at TN Kernan, a lot of changes have been made. Teachers in the classroom not only have the students working individually, but in many of the, the concepts and many of the lessons, they are working together. 
Labriska Walker Bendel School says her teaching methods have changed since the implementation of the CFS model. Instead of having the students sitting down, right, and asking them questions and so forth, they're more actively involved. Before, in the previous class, we used our textbooks to do revision and teacher wrote a lot on the board, but now we're using more technology such as the projector. It helps them because they're able to see for themselves as well as being involved in the lesson and it helps them to remember the information. As the CFS model in the Eastern Caribbean strongly advocates for parental involvement, schools in Antigua and Barbuda have embarked on developing different strategies to get parents more involved. Children just love to see the parents come to school mm -hmm. and being there at the school regularly, checking in with the teachers. My second daughter struggles and I've noticed since I'm a really active member that she has been slowly improved in her schoolwork. Cobbs Cross Primary has developed a check-in, check-out program to get the grade 5 parents more involved in their children's education. The teacher will sign them in, remind them of their expectation. Our expectations are be honest, be respectful, achieve success, and respect property. You will get a point, zero is the lowest, three is the highest. And at the end of the day, we, we will go to the principal or the same teacher and get checked out. At the end of the month, the student that have the most points will get a prize or a reward. More parents are dropping in a little more to see how the students are doing. And for parents who are definitely involved, um, you find that the children's behavior are better. We've seen some improvements in that area. Also, um, the work that's being completed in class, we've seen improvements also, and in homework, definitely also. Parent Isaiah Nicholas has three children attending the Cobbs Cross School. With the implementation of the program, what takes place now is that you have to check with, with the youth to see if they have homework and then also to sign off as a parent because the teacher already has signed off in the day as the, the schoolwork have made this process. Like parental participation, community participation is equally important for the child-friendly school. Noteworthy community involvements are in the Bolands and Buckley's communities. We see it fit as a community group to fence the school to protect the children, furnish the kitchen, and to give the school an uplift. So what is the way forward for the CFS program in Antigua and Barbuda? Going into 2016, we are hoping to introduce um, CFS into all our secondary schools, public secondary schools. Well, on a phased basis. In addition to that, one of the main focus is training teachers in using child-centered pedagogy. Also, we'll be focusing on special education um, in terms of including all students, you know, to learn within the mainstream classrooms. Another of the plans that we have is to train teachers um, into using positive behavior management practices. Principal of the Buckley's Primary School advised the other schools who have not yet adopted the CFS initiative to get on board. It's a good move for the students of Antigua and Barbuda. It's about um, developing the entire child, the whole child, not just the academic aspects of the child, the social, moral, emotional aspects of the child. And I see it as a very good tool for child development. Minister of Education, Sports, Youth and Gender Affairs, Dr. the Honorable Jackie Quinn Leandro, offers full and unequivocal endorsement to UNICEF's child-friendly initiative. The Ministry of Education in Antigua and Barbuda has seen some very positive changes in the way schools are managed, in the approach to discipline, in the child-centeredness of this initiative. And we are certainly hoping that CFS can be embraced not only in the public school system, but also in our private schools. What we want is for CFS to become a lifestyle, the modus operandi, the very culture of how we approach the education of our children. CFS, child-friendly schools, is a way of life. That's what our schools ought to be like. Music